Hi, hi everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Christina, for holding this and Mike. Uh, we have a, a little presentation and then we'll show a real demo. So the, the problem is dinosaurs don't have enough marketing. So we want to get out there and get the dinosaurs in everybody's home. And so our mission is to bring dinosaurs to every person, right? And the problem is that this dinosaur game uh, that we're implementing, uh, you need two players. So this is a user that doesn't have an opponent, so he's unhappy. And this is a user of our app who is actually playing the game because he's happy. And the solution is we have a, a, a app right here. And I just want to show the technology behind it is Firebase and the web. We use Polymer and things like that, and we'll give a real demo. And this is the back-end database. This is actually Firebase. So if you're ever building a real-time game or anything that's shared across the web, and you want to save the game state in the cloud, Firebase is a great way to do it. That's a Google product. And this is uh, showing the game itself. And a person logs in. And we actually integrate with Facebook. And you can actually play the game. Eventually, it'll all be working. It's, it's in uh, flux now. Here's a user that's logged in. And uh, he can log out. And, and this is what you'll see. Once you log in, you'll see. You guys can see it, right? You can see what games are available. And I'll give a live demo later. Uh, and here's our goal. Our milestones are the hackathon now. And we have a plan by December to have 100 billion users, even though there's only uh, less than that in the world. OK. Here, Mike. Awesome. So my name is Mike Nakimovich. I actually am a developer for the New York Times. And at the New York Times, I do a lot of stuff for adults. So as soon as I saw the challenges here and saw that there are games and there are things that we can build for kids, uh, I immediately jumped on it. And uh, kind of a little bit of full Sorry, so uh, one of a little full disclosure, as a kid, I played a lot of Magic the Gathering, really loved it, really loved card games, and I know how much that the, the company that actually made the digital game struggled with it, so we kind of took it as a challenge to try to make a dino game similar to Pokemon that... Cool, so we made a game, and like, uh, like Ralph was saying, this game uses Firebase as a backend, and when you go into the game, you actually will be de dealt a deck of cards. The cards, rather than us learning Pokemon, which are these creatures don't exist, you'll be learning real dinosaurs and the real stats. Eventually, we'll have it linked to uh, their Wikipedia sites and back to the museum as well. But what you're seeing now, uh, we're only seeing one screen view of this, uh, would live update on the other player as well. So as you're playing, you go one turn, the other person goes, and you continue the game. And the game mechanics are similar to how something like Domino's works, where there's some attributes like uh, what their environment is, uh, what climate they can live in, what they can eat, and you try to build food chains out of the different dinosaurs. So as kids and adults play this, they should be able to, to learn about dinosaurs. And also, hopefully, we can figure out an interface where all of this works. So right now, we have this just as a web game. Um, it is responsive. We use, poly uh, we use Polymer and Bootstrap to make it work. And Brian, one of my fellow engineers at the time, was able to write a uh, Android wrapper for this. So it'll be a native Android app. We'll be developing the native iOS wrapper for it as well, and hopefully finishing up this project. So hopefully, in the near future, look for some Patrasormon to, to come out. Thank you.